retired show dog or not, you still can't take the opera out of the husky. Oh, good girl. This is Kira, and she is six years old. I am bathing her today in de shedding shampoo and conditioner. Okay, Kira. I'm sorry to inform you that we must wash your face. Now, Kira has a very important message for all pet owners. Not too long ago, she was rushed into the vet for an emergency spay. She was suffering from a condition called pyometra, which is a serious infection of the uterus. If not treated within a reasonable amount of time, the infection can spread, causing sepsis, which is life-threatening. This could have been avoided had Kira been spayed. Pyometra occurs as a result of hormone changes in the female's reproductive tract. Following a heat cycle, hormones remain elevated for a few months and causes the lining of the uterus to thicken in preparation for pregnancy. If pregnancy does not occur for several consecutive cycles, the uterine lining continues to increase in thickness until cysts form within the uterine tissues. The cystic lining secretes fluids that create an ideal environment for bacteria to grow. Symptoms of pyometra include vomiting, refusal to eat, lethargy, increased thirst, and frequent urination. It is also believed that hormones play a major role in the development of mammary gland cancer in female dogs. Studies have shown that dogs spayed before their first heat cycle have a 0.5% chance of developing breast cancer. Dogs spayed after their first heat cycle have an 8% chance of developing breast cancer. And dogs spayed after their second heat cycle have a 26% chance of developing breast cancer. Male dogs also benefit from being neutered. Roughly one in three intact male dogs will develop testicular tumors in their lifetime. I know the topic of spaying and neutering pets is controversial, but as a pet professional of over 11 years, I can tell you that I have watched an uncountable amount of my clients develop these health conditions and unfortunately pass away before their time. Hormones do play a major role in the physical development of your pet, but please do your research, speak to your vet, and make sure you have all the information before deciding against a spay and neuter. Now let's get back to Kira's groom. I de-shed her today using my undercoat nozzle in the bathtub, my Ecri groomer, and my undercoat rake. Okay. She wasn't the biggest fan of having her paw pads shaved, so I had the cameraman step in for moral support. We're almost done. It's okay, they're just scissors. I sprayed her down in sugar cookie cologne and her and her sister Nicola had a blast in my yard. If you haven't seen her sister's video yet, I've linked it in the description for you. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the kind-hearted Kira.